super guy. Yeah, I, know. I, know. I know. My favorite is. All right, I guess like, oh, I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah, Grove is like the most visited place. I know you did. Crazy, right? Yeah, I Don't be intimidated by the stack here. All right. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hey. to celebrate my imminent passing. Uh, since, you, uh, since I've been back at Los Angeles for almost a year and a half now, I've gotten to know some of you at cocktail party level, or as Nick Francomano would say, I've gotten to know you socially. <laughs> <laughs> However, you all seem like really great people. I feel like I've been neglecting to really delve into our friendship <coughs> beyond a superficial level. And even more bizarrely than that, each and every one of you has a different interpretation of who I am, and I haven't allowed for a lot of crossover. Tonight, I hope to honor my life in a way that will let you know the real Molly. Molly the friend, Molly the worker, Molly the artist, Molly the daughter, Molly the feeler, and Molly the feeler-upper. <laughs> but before we get into that, I need to make a quick announcement. Ray Projects and Dutch Door and myself are not responsible for anything that may or may not happen to you tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> at this evening or any other performance of Dutch Door, uh, I'm just letting you know, because last week people got Mason in the face. Um, <laughs> should you feel uncomfortable with tight spaces, you are welcome to leave now. Okay, good. Um, does everyone feel comfortable? Does everyone have a drink? No. Would you like a drink? Well, maybe you should just pass around the rum bag. I don't know how to do that. Um, Alright, does anyone need to go to the bathroom? Really, I will wait for you. You can even go number two, and I will wait. That's how much I don't want to do this right now. Oh. Come on. Anybody? Okay, okay, we're going. Alright, um, so if you could please turn off your cell phones, I'd really appreciate it and pass them up to the front, because I don't trust you guys. <laughs> and I'll be collecting them. <laughs> if any of you are accomplished, you can leave now. <laughs> Come on. No, 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 I'm serious. <laughs> Bring them up. They'll be returned, don't I'll worry. I'll get mine back. Huh? How do I know I'm going to get mine back? You have the ugliest no. front, and no one else will have them. <laughs> All right. Let's get them. This is my version of Est, by the way. <laughs> Alright. Is that someone's wallet? Can't wait, the battery's about to die. <laughs> is it? Oh yeah. Look at all these nice things. Oh. We're still passing. Alright, good. Oh, cool. Awesome. No. Look at my mom's ugly phone, y'all. Thank you. Hey, at least I'm not being tracked. Yeah. We're all being tracked. Oh, okay. Well, Jane's filming, so she's on that. <laughs> My phone is practically rotary now. It's just like plugged in for <laughs> any more phones. Oh. Toms, bring your phone up. Careful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Thank you. All right. <laughs> now we're really gonna connect. Um, all right. So let's see. Let's see if I can even do this. Yeah, I can. Woo! Do this. <laughs> all right. I want you to close your eyes and uh, hold the person next to your hands, if possible. Unless you're like recording, then you know, I'll give you a little slack there. And then I want you to do some deep breathing. And as you're doing this, I want you to think about, you know, the person next to you. Do you know them? You know, are you friends? How did you guys both meet me? <laughs> Why not work? Oh, it's too tight? Now they're good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
you know, <laughs> you never really like learned a lot about people by your mutual friends. <laughs> That's something warning someone else not to get zip tied to the person next to them. <laughs> We're bonding right now. Bondage. All right. That came from my mom. <laughs> that awkward comment. <laughs> Did you steal my laptop? <laughs> oh, this is an interrogation. Yeah, it's a little. <laughs> you didn't get it back? <laughs> no. Keep my first clothes at hand. Best that way. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's the difference between a highbrow artwork and a lowbrow artwork? Drug choice. <laughs> <laughs> what's the difference between highbrow artwork and lowbrow artwork? Vocabulary. What's the difference between highbrow artwork and lowbrow artwork? The difference between Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman and Julia Roberts in real life. <laughs> What's the difference between a sound performance and an asshole making a bunch of annoying noises? I don't know, but someone ought to tell John Cage. If an art history major presents a paper in the and no one is around to hear it. Do they make any relevant intellectual contributions to the cultural zeitgeist of art? No. Yes. <laughs> Does it matter? Was anybody listening anyways? <laughs> What's the difference between public art and a playground? People like playgrounds. <laughs> 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 What's the difference between visiting a playground and making a public art piece? You get more money if you kidnap the right child. <laughs> How do you get someone to buy your artwork? Shove it so far up their asses they need to get it surgically removed. <laughs> What's the difference between postmodernism and modernism? I've spent eight years at art school and over 50 grand, and I'm still not sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between an interior decorator and a post minimalist artist? Sincere houseplants versus ironic houseplants. <laughs> What's the difference between making jokes about conceptual art and making jokes about all the guys I've had sex with? I used to love conceptual art. <laughs> Between making jokes about 
jokes about conceptual art and making jokes about all the guys I've had sex with. I think about conceptual art before I do it. <laughs> what makes a good relational aesthetics piece? Location, location, location. <laughs> What's the difference between a folk artist and an outsider artist? Only one of them is pretending they don't have an art degree. <laughs> What's the difference between an art residency and a camp? Camp attendees make more art. <laughs> You know what my favorite part of yarn bombing is? <laughs> when the police cut it down. <laughs> you know what my favorite part of yarn bombing is? When the artists all have to go back to teaching kindergarten the next day. <laughs> uh, blood sticking it together, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what my favorite part of yarn bombing is? When they crocheted plastic bags over their faces and suffocated and died. Whoa. You know what my favorite part of yarn bombing is? <laughs> when someone covers a seemingly mundane object with multicultural crochet textiles and made the city come alive in an array of colors for a moment, mankind was distracted from their everyday lives and elevated to a new existence and awareness and was given an overwhelming sense of civic duty.